Hey guys, it's Sarah. I hope you had an amazing Christmas. I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while, but I've been spending time with family and friends, and I hope you have been doing the same. Um, <laughs> that was weird. Um, as 2011 comes to a close, I thought I would do my top 10 TV shows of 2011. If you're anything like me, you watch a lot of TV, and choosing 10 shows was actually really, really hard. I used to think about it a lot, but I did come to a conclusion and I've got my top 10. Bear in mind that this is just my opinion, these are just the shows that I like to watch. Um, and also, bear in mind that these are not my top 10 shows of all time, these are just shows that have been airing in 2011. Another thing to keep in mind is that although I live in the UK, I actually watch a lot of American shows online, so um, yeah, just keep that in mind if you're like, what? I don't know what show you're talking about if you're living in the UK. So yeah, here goes. These are my top 10 TV shows of 2011. <laughs> At number 10, I have Happy Endings. It's a new show. I think it's on its second season. Um, it's a comedy and it's just about a group of five friends and they just are kind of all a little bit crazy, but it's super, super funny. So if you're into comedies, definitely that's one to get into for next year because it is super, super good. Number nine is actually the only UK show that I've been watching this year and it's Shipwrecked. Um, Shipwrecked actually took a break last year and the year before and it's back and I am so, so excited. I love this show. It's so funny. Um, for those of you who don't watch Shipwrecked or if you don't live in the UK and you don't have Shipwrecked, um, it's basically like Big Brother and they throw a group of people on an island in the South Pacific and it's like this beautiful, beautiful island and they have to try and make their own houses and get along with each other and it doesn't always work out and it is so funny and so good. At number eight, I have a new show. Quite, I have quite a lot of new shows on my list and this one is Heart of Dixie starring Rachel Bilson. I love Rachel Bilson, first of all, so when I saw that this show was going to be starting in 2011, I was so excited. Um, it's a really simple show. Um, it's just about a New York City girl who moves to a small town called Bluebell, and she's kind of this fish out of water, and she has to kind of find her place, and not everyone in the town thinks she really belongs there. And it's just a really sweet show, and it's so cute, and I love it so much, and I love, love, love Rachel Bilson, so I'm so glad she's back on TV. At number seven, I have a show that I have been loving, 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 and if you're into Harry Potter, I think you'll be into this show. It's Once Upon a Time, and it's about um, fairy tales, and how these fairy tales have all, this curse has been put on them by the evil queen, and she's trapped them all in our world, and taken away all their happy endings. And there's one girl, Snow White's daughter, who has to kind of save them all, and it's really, really good. Um, I've been loving that show so much, and I cannot wait to see what happens next. At number six, I have a show that I think a lot of people have been watching. Um, it's another comedy, um, New Girl, starring Zoe Deschanel, and I think she's so funny, and it's such, such, such a good show. Yeah, it's super funny. It's just about a girl who moves in with three guys and she basically is hilarious and a little bit crazy, but it's such a good show. At number five, I have a show that I've actually been watching for about four years now. It's on its fourth season and yeah, I've been super, super loving this show and that show is 90210. Um, if you don't watch 90210, what are you doing with your life? No, I'm just kidding, but it's super good. I love all the characters, and yeah, I'm not really gonna go into explaining what Naoto is about because I feel like most people know, but yeah, I've been loving this season so much. Not its best season, definitely not its best season, but definitely a good season. Okay, at number four, I have The Secret Circle. Now, okay, just this is to all the Harry Potter fans who've watched these videos because most of you are Harry Potter fans. You need to watch this show. It's so, so good. It, it, it is about um, witches, and they have this circle of witches, and kind of how they are all destined to be in this circle. It's a really, 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 really good show. 
Um, I didn't know if I'd like it because I don't often like stuff about witches because all I think all I do is compare it to Harry Potter but this is actually really different from Harry Potter and really good and I've really 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 been enjoying it so yeah definitely go watch The Secret Circle if you don't already. Um, my third favorite show of 2011 is The Vampire Diaries. Another show I've been watching for a really long time and another show that I know a lot of people watch and I really really get into. I don't think The Vampire Diaries has had a bad season yet. I think every twist, every storyline, every character has depth and like I don't know how they keep coming out with these storylines but they have been so good. This season is no exception, still really good and I just want it to come back on TV. <laughs> okay, my second favourite show is probably one of my favourite shows of all time as well. It's a comedy and it's a show that a lot of people again watch which is How I Met Your Mother. It's on its seventh season now and it is still going strong. If you don't watch How I Met Your Mother, you just need to watch it. Like, <laughs> you just need to watch it. There is no, there is nothing else. It's so good, so funny, so clever. Cannot wait to find out who the mother is, but I feel like that will probably happen at the end of the whole series and I don't want the series to end. So I kind of hope we don't find out soon. And finally, my number one show of 2011 is definitely one of my favorite shows of all time. Yeah, it is Gossip Girl. I have been watching Gossip Girl since it started five years ago now. Can you believe it's been five years? I love everything about this show. I love the characters, I love New York City, and I love the fashion. The storylines are always good. I know last year had a bit of a rocky season, Let's not really talk about that, it wasn't amazing, but this year it's been so, so good and I'm so glad that it's come back fighting strong and I think it will only have one more season, I think they're only doing six seasons and I am going to be so, so sad to see it over, but it has been so good this season. Um, the way that it ended right before the Christmas break, for you Gossip Girl fans, you know how I feel. <laughs> But yeah, it has been a whirlwind of a season, but it is definitely my number one favorite show of 2011. Uh, please let me know in the comments or in a video response what your top 10 TV shows of 2011 are. Um, yeah, as I said, keep in mind that this is just my opinion. <laughs> I watch a lot of shows, so I feel like I have a decent opinion, but I do like a lot of cheesy shows. Um, and a lot of American shows, so I can understand if you don't like them. <laughs> this is my 2011 shows, and I thought since 2011 is coming to an end, I needed to share with the world the best shows that started this year or that are continuing this year. Um, yeah, I probably won't make another video before the New Year, so Happy New Year, and I'll see you guys in 2012. Bye!